See this broken up, beaten, oh, bad outside chair? We have to fix this. It could be a very, very beautiful chair. This part here is completely broken, but we're going to replace that completely. And I'm going to sand all this off. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to plug this bad boy in. And I already traced one of the, the sides so that you could rest your arm and stuff like that. And this is what you do it. Well, the final result is that you have this part here, the old part, and your new part right here. Boom. Okay, so what I've done off camera is I made this one for the left side and this one for the right side. The left one is better, the right one not as good, but don't worry. We will sand them on the sides and they're going to look really, really, really nice, okay? Okay, so what I've just done right now is I've sanded the sides here. Now it's very, very smooth. After we paint this, it's going to be much, much better. It's going to look very nice. What I'm going to do now, left one's already off. The right one I have to take off. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna undo this side here. This is blue, so I'm gonna have to hammer it out. So let's see how this goes. Well, I got plan B. Alright, well, that's my plan B. This is not really how you're supposed to use instruments, but what the heck. This is a proper way of using the jigsaw. However, this is not how you use a jigsaw. Wow. The plan B worked. Okay, so what I've just done is I, cl I cleaned the bird poop off of here. It's disgusting. So right now, let's just glue the sides. It goes nothing. Okay. What I'm doing right now is sort of hard. I have to clamp the handles here. But in order to do that, I need a large, large clamp like this. Boom. Then I suddenly realized I could just use that. <laughs> I just solved my own problems on camera. Wow. Amazing. Let's get working. Now that I've sanded it all, it looks it looks very different. Wow, it looks really nice. It's painting time. We're gonna paint it red like it was before, but this is gonna be a new coat, which is much better. Okay, so I have some bad news. Um, the glue is not drying as expected, especially on the left side. The right side is, eh, is on the screwdriver, it fell because it's standing like this. Now it's like that, but before it's like this. And it fell, and the screwdriver broke it here, boom. That's really sad, but it's okay, I got a bunch of others. Uh, after the glue is done drying, we're gonna burn it. We're gonna burn it just a little bit with this thing. It's gonna be nice and awesome. And we're gonna burn a little bit off to get that nice, good texture. So after some time, I was able to do it very, very nicely. It's actually medium, medium rare, I would say. No, actually, no, not medium rare. Medium, medium well done. Very strong, very strong. There's only one thing left to do, and it's to paint it. And I'm going to choose red. After painting it, I used a rag so that we could see a little bit of the burnt marks. Okay, now that that painting is done, I am going to flip over the chair so that I can paint on the bottom part. Now I can paint it. The project is now almost complete. All we have to do is just wait about an hour or so and then it will dry completely. Let's see the final result very soon. Now here I am putting a clear coat to protect the chair and also to make it look shiny. Now this is something I really like to do, this, this part here. It's not very stressful, it's more relaxing. It relaxes the mind. But you also have to pay attention to those nasty, nasty drops. To put the clear coat, start top to bottom and only use a little amount for each coat. I used two coats for this chair. If I was able to sell this chair, I would probably sell it for $160. It's nice, beautiful. 
вообще. That was just my stepmother. This is our final result right here. Beautiful chair. I have to go. Awesome. Awesome. It's amazing. Thank you so much for watching to the end of the video. Make sure to subscribe and hit the bell for more notifications. For more awesome content.